I'm Lynn Foskett. I'm a mixed media artist, and I'm going to be doing a demo on a process called frottage. Frottage is French for rubbing. It's a very simple process, something that most everyone has tried. The idea is to record the surface texture of an object that the eye would not otherwise see. So just laying a piece of paper over an interesting surface and then applying charcoal or graphite to, to that uh, reveals some wonderful nuances of light and shadow, pattern and texture, and some surprising imagery. I love all of that and I like color, so when I work with frottage, I also use paint. These pieces behind me give you an idea of what that looks like. It's not a process that I use currently in my work, but I've taken from it that interest in combining disparate patterns, shapes, and textures to create a special energy. So let's see how we go about doing that. I tend to work the surface of my frottages fairly hard, so I want a durable paper. Uh, rather than rag, I use a synthetic paper called Yupo, Y-U-P-O. It's very sensitive to whatever surface you lay it on, and you can find it easily on any online art store. Uh, it comes in different weights and sizes. I would suggest a medium weight, about a 70 pound. That way it is less likely to stretch when you're running a tool over it. Of course, you'll be collecting some wonderful uh, textured items, just be sure that they're fairly thin and not bulky. You can make your own. And if you happen to have a tile floor or anything with an embossed pattern, I'd go ahead and give that a try. See what it looks like. Tools with a straight edge are all you need. I happen to like a credit card, so I take my old ones and cut them up and use those. Uh, they create their own pattern uh, on the surface. But any straight edge, wood or metal, will work well. Now I'll talk about paint as I start a frottage. Acrylic paint works well, so does watercolor, and so does water-soluble oil paint. I work a lot in oils, and I like the water-soluble quality because there's not much odor that cleans up easily with water, and it also dries quickly. Plus, it sets up nicely on the palette. It stays moist. Each medium has its own characteristics, of course, so I really encourage you to try them all out and see what you think. What I've done is laid out uh, several textures. I've got corrugated cardboard, netting, uh, rug pad, cut paper, cut Yupo, even tabs from uh, bread bags. I've got my gloves and apron, paper towels. It is a messy process. And I'm going to spritz a sponge with water and run it lightly over the Yupo. A uh, paper towel would work too. Um, it doesn't get absorbed because the Yupo is synthetic, but it makes it easier for the paint to move across the surface. You just don't want it to be too wet. I laid my first uh, color down. I always start with a dark color. And with this blue, it almost looks like a cyanotype, doesn't it? I'm going to add some green to this middle section just so we can see the kind of effects that this has. I've put plexi under my frottage pieces because I don't want any other texture to come through. And look how this is kind of like a color negative, isn't it? I like that effect. And of course, it mixes with whatever paint you have below. And I think on this. I'll do uh, kind of a rose, and look how that really punches out the pattern. Uh, that's really nice. So once I'm done, I'll let these dry, and then I look at them and find those elements that I want to use and cut them out, and I'll combine them in a, in a collage. It has a very organic quality, which is one of the things I really like about this process. Okay, we'll let this dry and see what happens. You can see the wonderful nuances that occurred in this demo piece. I'm particularly intrigued by the image in the upper left corner. So I created a few more frottages using my leftover paint. 
I'll use them in a collage. If you do use water-soluble oil paints, remember that it will take a little longer to dry where the paint is thick. I hope you enjoyed this process, and it's something you'll want to try. Thanks for being with me. Keep creating.